Welcome back. The war in the Middle East is now starting to impact the international economy, and you may soon begin to feel it here, actually. Iranian-backed rebels are stepping up attacks on container ships in the Red Sea. They're targeting high-value commercial ships on the crucial shipping route, which could lead to larger supply chain issues. NBC News senior business correspondent Christine Romans joins us here on set now to talk through this. Morning. Hi, Christine. Good, Good morning. morning. Thanks for being here. So explain how that happening there could have an effect here. So this is like a superhighway. Think of it as an international shipping superhighway, and you've got dozens of of these ships that have come under fire. They've either been harassed or actually fired upon or their crews kidnapped and held hostage. It's just a very dangerous and volatile situation. So the big major crew, uh, the shipping companies are rerouting. And the way they're rerouting to avoid this dangerous spot, um, it's gonna take 10 to 14 more days to get wow. products um, to the ports and on the shelves. And as you know, delays mean dollars. And it could even mean that things that are supposed to be on the shelves in spring and early summer may be a little bit later. So it is a supply chain hiccup. It's nothing like what we saw during COVID. So I really want to put it in context. Um, but it is a supply chain hiccup that comes just as inflation is starting to wane. What kind of products are we talking about? We're talking about everything. You know, last night I was going over the manifests of the uh, of these ships that went through in December. We're talking Ikea, Macy's, Target, mm. um, every kind of wow. shoe company you can think of. Just every kind of product. And then I was looking through my, you know, through my uh, my kids' playroom and I'm like, oh, yeah, that, yeah, that one, yeah, that was all coming through <laughs> that, that, uh, that, that area. So it's just about everything you can think of. And oil, wow. crucial oil shipments go through there too. So this is why I think the White House and allies yesterday were so adamant that this must stop. They didn't say what they're going to do about it exactly, mm. but they are with one voice saying these attacks on commercial shipping must stop. For someone watching at home, I mean, how concerned should they be about this? You know, I think what's happening in the Middle East is concerning for everyone because it is just such a human tragedy, right? I mean, this is two wars happening now. You've got Ukraine and Russia and now this conflagration in the Middle East. And then the concern that it spreads to other players, and other proxies, and causes even more uncertainty. Mm. So uncertainty is always one of those things that is, um, it can be detrimental to everyone. You know, it's not something that's ring-fenced Clearly, right. by these mm -hmm. by these shipping problems, not ring fenced in the Middle East, and I think that's what these rebels want to do. Frankly, yes. I mean, it's on purpose that they're trying to attack an artery of Western life. Mm. Christine, as always, thanks nice for coming by. Guys. Good thanks. to see you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app, or follow us on social media.